Officials from NASA and the Canadian Space Agency are in Sudbury this week to field test moon mining robots. Well, today we're working on preparing for a field test um, with the Canadian Space Agency, with NASA, on hardware that um, needs to work together, in particular um, prospecting. How do we look for water and uh, ice and, and other volatiles on the moon? This robot is designed to plow lunar soil, while this one drills for water and other elements and analyzes the samples. The tests are taking place at the Etche Gravel Pit in Garson, northeast of the city. Heading the testing is the Northern Center for Advanced Technology, or NORCAD. They have to understand how to make oxygen out of the moon soil. They have to understand how to make propellant, um, how to get water out of the soil. And that involves a mining activity. And so NORCAD has figured prominently for the last 10 years in developing hardware that can support that kind of, uh, of activity. Gabriel Delontario is a professor of aerospace studies at the University of Toronto. He brought several students to test their dirt plowing robots. I think that they're, you know, pretty excited about this this whole project. I mean, you know, whenever you're doing something related to uh, space technology, I think that gets everybody's um, motivation up. At Laurentian University, a group of students are working on a similar moon mining robot. They will be competing in NASA's 2009 Regolith Excavation Challenge. Robotic lunar mining operations will allow astronauts to extract water and oxygen from the moon's surface. This will allow future space crews to stay on the moon for extended periods of time. For Northern Ontario Business, I'm Andrew Lowe.